Good morning, adventurers. We are here in the animal kingdom today. We just got from uh, our resort, the uh, Wilderness Lodge. We did a whole resort tour there, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave the link in the description. But we are here for the breakfast buffet this morning at the Tusker House, and we have like two minutes to get there. Here's where we're heading, right into Africa. That's where the Tusker House is. Now this is a buffet, and it is a character buffet. Um, it's not any uh, special characters. It is just Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy in safari gear. They got some bongo players going out here. Looks like fun. I wish we had time to stop, but maybe when we get out of breakfast. Oh, I'm sorry, not Minnie, it's Goofy. All right, so while Star is uh, waiting to check us in, I'm gonna go over here and check out these drummers. to Tusker House. Temple Tavis, welcome to Tusker and just step right up to the podium. Hi. <laughs> oh, thank you. I know your outfit, I love it. You're, you're ready to go on safari. Yeah, see lots of animals. Oh yeah. The Tusker House is such an amazing looking restaurant. I, I love coming in here, it's so uh, visually interesting. So with the dining plan, uh, this is a buffet, but uh, the dining plan includes an alcoholic beverage, they have uh, African martini, lost on safari, captain's mai tai, tiki punch, magical star cocktail, and Bahama Mama. On the other side of the menu, they also have African Bloody Mary, African Mimosa, Cold Brew XO, and Ngilmu Jungle Juice. Hi, Goofy! Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you can look at her, yeah. Hi. Oh yeah, I know. It is a little cold out today. A little bit. Oh, you gonna put, yeah, put your hood on? There we go. I know. I like your hat. They had to cut special ear holes in it though. Oh, you bopped him on the nose? <laughs> he wanted a high five, not a nose bop. <laughs> Alright, so I went with the Captain's Mai Tai, and Star went with the African Mimosa. Let's see. Let me try a straw on that one. Okay. So if you sip off the top, all the alcohol is floating on the top there. And it's very strong. <laughs> but if you put the straw down inside. It's much better. Nice, nice and uh, fruity. It tastes like the jungle juice, basically. Jungle juice! Yeah, with, with rum. And it says there's some kind of amaretto in there. It's good, I like it, it's nice. It's a good breakfast uh, drink. How about you? You like it? Yeah, I mean, it pretty much just tastes like jungle juice. So it's, it's jungle juice with... Uh, with rosé. Sham rosé. Hi, Donald. Squirrel, fist bump. <laughs> now we're gonna head up to the buffet for some food here. Let's see what they have. All right, go ahead and grab yourself a plate. Looks like they got some ham for carving. You want some ham? No? Jalapeno corn muffins? No? 
sweet and spicy mustard for the ham. That looks good. I got some giant rotisseries back there. That's kind of awesome. So, let's see, the regular fare, bacon. All right, they got some scrambled eggs. All right, they have some sausage. Uh, mealy pap, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like uh, corn grits, I'm not sure. Yeah, more bacon. No, 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 no. They got tater tots. You want tater tots? No? Let's go around. All right, they got some Mickey waffles and pancakes. They even have a Simba waffle. Let's move on down over here. They got the cold cereal. No. No? Oh, that looks good. So they got some nice looking curry chicken to go on top of balsami rice and some beef babatui. I don't know what babatui is. It looks like some kind of a quiche egg dish with uh, peppers, onions. All right, they have some plantains. You want some fried plantains? Those are kind of like bananas a little bit, no? They got some pre-made omelets, bacon, cheese. You don't want bacon and cheese omelet? They got some ham and cheese frittata. Roasted potatoes, those look amazing. And plain old cheese omelet, you're going with that? So there we go, let's go over here. All right, so they got some cold Trek salad. Those are, that actually looks pretty good. Looks like couscous and uh, cranberries. Black-eyed pea salad, golden beet salad. Wow, those salads actually look really good. They have the usual fruit bar buffet. Grapes. You want some grapes? Okay. Some nice fresh fruit for you. Let's check over here. Oh, they got some salmon, smoked salmon, lox. They got uh, some tomatoes in, I don't know, arugula maybe? Uh, yep, it says eggs and arugula. Uh, sorry, tomatoes and arugula. They got some hard boiled egg slices. You want some snacky egg? All right, go ahead. Let's see, over here they got some cottage cheese and yogurts and some toppings to put in your, your cottage cheese, raisins, some whipped butter. All kinds of breads and granola, cream cheese, bagels, jellies. Let's see, what's over, ooh, careful, Julie. Let's see, what's over here? We got some uh, oatmeal in the pot. Yep, plain oatmeal, you can put your to own toppings in. Let's check over here, Julie. We got some dessert breads over here. Blueberry bread, lemon poppy seed cake. Uh-oh, this looks like chocolate. You want chocolate? Chocolate twist? Sure, I thought you would. There's a chocolate twist Danish. They got some donuts. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Some little little donut holes. Munchkins, sure. Oh, here's the syrup. You need some syrup for your pancake? Put your pancake up here. Put it up there, let's see. All right, there you go. Some syrup on your plate. They got some biscuits and sausage gravy. Ooh, banana bread pudding. Mmm. Then they got croissants and some zebra coffee cake. That looks good. I am going to be hitting all kinds of uh, food on this buffet. I went with a little bit of all of the kind of more exotic buffet items they have here. This is why uh, Tusker House is one of my favorite breakfast buffets because it's not just scrambled eggs and Mickey waffles. They, they have some really interesting stuff up there. So I'm really curious about this mealy pap stuff. They said it's like a sweet corn with uh, cheese. Okay, that's really good. It's it's re it's it is like really sweet and cheesy at the same time. Pretty good too. Now, let's try some of these roasted red potatoes. Those are good. It's like uh, tastes like there's a little little chili pepper on it. Uh, maybe a little paprika, and uh, tastes like rosemary. So the chef said that the ham was really good and I got the mustard sauce on it. He told me it would make the ham sing. All right, let's try this. Ooh. Okay, so the mustard is really spicy, but it's good. It, it really makes the ham taste nice. Give this beef babatui a try. Never heard of this before. Mm. 
Oh, that's interesting. That's really good. It's like ground beef with egg, and there's definitely some curry powder in there. Curry or cumin, maybe a little both. It's good. Some of this chicken curry sounds good. It's good. It's nice. This is a good, uh, yeah, the chicken and rice is everything. delicious. It's, it's not a spicy curry. It has very earthy uh, flavors. It's really nice. It's good. I don't know if I would consider it entirely breakfast, but it's it's different. I'm definitely going to be going for another plate to try some of the other stuff that you don't usually see at the buffets. Hi. Yeah, we're back again. I know. You like my, I like your hat too. Thank you. Yeah. This time I went with a lot of the cold stuff, some of the salads there. They had uh, really nice looking couscous and golden beet salad and bread pudding, some uh, smoked salmon zebra cake, and a ham frittata. Try some of this ham frittata. So I mean the ham frittata is, you know, ham frittata. Nothing, nothing unique there. The zebra cake is good. It's not exactly vanilla cake. It's kind of, it's kind of like chocolate with nut bread. Right. So this couscous salad. That's good. The cranberries in it are nice. There's the tomato and arugula. That's good. The, the dressing on it is a little salty though. Try some of the golden beef. The golden beef is nice. It's a little tart. Very tasty. Smoked salmon. It's nice. It's a little salty, but uh, good, good flavor. Try some of this uh, bread pudding. Banana bread pudding is really nice. That is delicious. So they got the kids up uh, marching around the restaurant with the uh, characters in some kind of like conga line type thing with maracas. Oh, and Mickey, Mickey felt left out, so he's playing his canteen. So, for anyone keeping track, <laughs> the kids, before for two adults and two kids, plus two alcoholic drinks, the total for that was $174.66. Uh, so, considering we, we, we already hit, did one meal, and our dining plan only cost us $250 something and change, I'd say we're, we're out, we're ahead by probably almost, uh, un almost $200. Oh my goodness, I ate so much food, but it was so good. Tusker House has gotta be one of my top five favorite character breakfasts. So after our nice big breakfast, we're gonna take a little walk down uh, Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail, see if we can see any animals. Gorilla Falls is over in Harambe, that's the uh, African section. This is a walking trail. You, uh, there are animals along the way to stop and see, but uh, Animal Kingdom is filled with all kinds of these uh, animal exploration walking trails. So this is a model of a, a termite mound. So over here we got Angolian black and white Columbus monkey. Col no, Columbus. Columbus. Oh, Columbus. All right, you're right, I'm wrong. As usual. Well, they're all the same. Oh, there's even a baby there. There's a little baby. 
and they're all having their breakfast. Way out there in the distance, there is an okapi. So here's a board explaining the uh, relation between the giraffes and the okapi. They even have uh, some skeletons here. This is neat. I never uh, realized that the giraffe's uh, horns were actually bone. All right, so inside here, it looks like there's a reptile house along this trail. Yeah, there's a cute little turtle. Spine, they're called spiny, spiny mouse. Oh, look at this. This is like a, a mouse, a mole rat burrow. Look at all the little babies up there in the corner. Actually, those are adults. Those are adults. Oh, okay. They're anywhere from four years old to 28 years old. Oh, wow. 28 years old? Holy if you cow. Look right there on top, you see that one with the wide sides yeah. and the sides? That's the queen, and, and she's uh, pregnant. Oh, okay. So they have like a, a hierarchy kind yeah. of set up. Interesting. Yeah. She's the one that has all the babies. And yeah. Where are the daughters. baby rooms? Really? Where are the yeah. baby and they room? protect her, father the babies. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the baby if room? a snake comes into their den, then they run the snake off. Oh. And if that doesn't work, then one of them will feed himself to the snake so that uh, the snake will go away. To wow. That's interesting. Yeah. They are. Wow, so that's really neat. Yep, yeah, there's some more. I, you all, they're, if they're all together, and I don't know, you can't tell which ones are babies and which ones are the adults. I can't believe that they live for 28 years. That's crazy. We got some turtles over here. They're not these, oh, these are called pancake tortoise. That's pretty neat. Look at uh, it. You don't see it right there? <laughs> yeah, I know. You thought it was a stick, didn't you? See, there's his face right there. Yep, this is a boa. Some, this is a, a snake. A low snake. It's called a Kenyan sand boa. Yeah, look at what one. Where is he? Oh, he's way in the back there. Yep. That's this is just a, a Dumeril's boa constrictor hiding in the back there. A brown house snake curled up in that log. So this is an ornate spiny tailed lizard. Oh my god. There's some bugs. Oh, maybe this is oh, okay. There's Emperor Scorp no wait. Whoa. Those are that's a dung beetle. That that little that that brightly colored one walking around. Those are dung beetles. Those glittery ones? Yeah, the iridescent ones. So these are bugs. A scorpion. But up here these are probably Madagascar hissing cockroaches. It's a scorpion. So that's another little one. Yeah, down here they got some display ones. That is a that is a giant scorpion right there. My goodness! Oh, look at this. Check this out. Look at the tarantula back there. Oh! And that's probably that's a huge bug. Well, I'm going outside now. Very neat. Uh huh. Can't handle it. Mom can't handle the bugs. Mom can't handle the bugs. Yeah. They got some butterflies. There's largest beetle in the world. That's a Goliath beetle right there. Emperor scorpion. They got some praying mantis here. So out here they got some free flying birds. We're gonna start a training session over here. So if you wanna come on over, you can. We just need about two feet from this rope so that the birds feel comfortable. And same as before, we want to make sure that you're taking photos. They don't mind a flash, but they do have personal space. So you want to zoom with your fingers, not with your arms. It's pretty simple. That way the birds feel comfortable. There will be birds landing above you. They could possibly be leaving little presents on top of your head. If that happens, it's not my fault. Don't call me or my boss and yell at us. We're gonna go ahead and highlight why I think some of these birds are amazing, some of their natural adaptations, and hopefully you'll kind of fall in love with them too. 
the birds come down and they do something for me, they get a paycheck, but their paycheck comes in the form of a worm. What they don't know are these worms have some powder on them. And that powder is vitamins and minerals to make sure that they're nice and healthy. So when they're getting a treat, they're actually getting some vitamins. So that helps me with my job. They can go throughout our exhibit here and eat other things, but these are some favorite treats. All right, we're going to start off with these two birds today. These are green wood hoopos. Green wood hoopos smell like flying trash cans. <laughs> that keeps them uh, protected in the wild because if you stink, nobody wants to be near you. Now they have those tweezer-like beaks that they reach down inside tree cavities and they grab worms or bugs. And so that's really beneficial for us because who loves bugs all through their house? Not me. Wow. So having birds like green wood hoopos around your yard if you live in Africa or other insect eating birds here in the United States is really important and it can cut down on the need for pesticides. And we all want to make sure that our yards are nice and healthy and that nature is healthy. And all those pesticides can run off into the waterway. Now, another thing that green wood hoopos can do, which I think is really amazing, is a second line of defense. Does anybody know what it is? It's got poop down. Early morning? It's number two. They lift their tail and shoot their droppings at the eye of a predator. And they have such good aim that about... Uh, 95% of the time they hit their mark and we're going to demonstrate that so I want you all to stay very still. Keep your mouth closed. All right, we're going to have you come down. We're going to pretend that you're all a bunch of predators creeping up on him in the forest. Come on back. There you go. Why don't you turn around, lift that tail and fire. So that's how it would happen, but don't worry, he's not loaded. You can see how quickly they can lift that tail and um, we'll show you that tree or that uh, that beak going down in a tree cavity. Pretend my hand's a little crook in a tree. They're gonna reach around until he can get that worm. Once he gets in there, he can extract it. And that's really, really important for birds like the green wood hoopo to have that device, those parrot tweezers on their face. All right, we're gonna click a bunch of times, see if we can attract a few more birds over here. Whoa. This is what I'm welcome to every morning when I come to work. Now what I want you to see though, is I want you to see how still some of the birds stay. So I'm gonna toss some treats out here. These little yellow birds, 68 of them, we have to count them every day, not once, but twice a day. And so in the morning, I sit down on a towel with my cup of coffee, they come down one by one, they come up, they get a treat, they fly off, the next one comes up, he gets a treat, he flies off, and that's how I make sure that they're all nice and healthy every day. If they're not, we get a vet appointment, and then we have to go see the vet. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head down that way. I'm gonna bring all the birds with us. We'll give you a little bit of a Snow White experience as they fly all around you. Then we're gonna stop by the waterway and see who we can attract in that area. So a bird I definitely wanted you to see is right up here. This is a blue-bellied roller. And a lot of people confuse it with a kingfisher. It's got great eyesight, amazingly fast flight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have it swoop down here and catch one of these bugs right out of the air. I want you to get your cameras focused on it. Maybe do a short video, that way you can uh, save that photo later. On the count of three, we're gonna toss one of these worms up and see if they'll catch you. it out of the air. Are you ready? One, two, three. Whoa, oh, did you see those beautiful wings? Saw another one fly by. I don't know if we can get them set up. I'll toss a worm up there. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we'll get this one back up to the edge. I'm gonna give a little signal here. There we go. Now we got two up there. We can uh, double your chances. You ready? One, two, three. There we go. And we'll try that one more time. Get ready. As soon as he turns around, he's not looking. He's watching. There we go. He's watching something else. You ready there, buddy? One, two, three. Yeah. Oh. Now we had a different type of roller that flew the opposite direction. That was a racket tail roller. We're going to have some of our birds down here Join close by. You can come down and take a photo of them. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to move back up that way and deal with a beautiful bird that's right up above you. So if you want to see one of the rarest birds in uh, our exhibit, I'm going to ask him to come over. And uh, he's just starting some training, so we'll see what he does today. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for hanging out with us and have a wonderful day here at Hill. Yeah. Yeah, there's fish and duck. There's something with a green beak in there. It's kind of neat. Oh, there's some interesting colored ducks here. That's really neat. And there's a whole bunch of really colorful fish. Oh, yeah, there's one. Wow, interesting. Yeah, he is. So the bird exhibit was really neat. Of course, 
I got pooped on. You did? Yep. Let's see what's over here. Yeah, a bunch of little fish. Is that what this is? Just fish? No, there's gotta be more to it. There's a hippo. Oh, there's a hippo in there. Oh yeah, way, way over there. You can't see it from this side. So look at it, he's he's laying down. Whoa! Yeah, that's a hippo out there. That's baby Gus. That, oh, that's a baby hippo? Yeah, he's he just stuck his just stuck his face up to take a breath. But he's but, still sound asleep. Yeah, he's taking a nap. Oh, and he's sleeping. Is that yeah, it? They're okay. Nocturnal. They sleep in the water. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. He's he's taking a nap there in the water. Yeah, they got some gorillas over there. They're just relaxing in the shade. So here's a yeah for the for the lowland gorilla. Yeah, so there's another gorilla out there. Oh, that is a giant one coming this way. Check that out. That is a big gorilla. All right, so we're back to the beginning. I see the uh, monkeys. All right, well, so far it's been a really great morning. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now it's your turn. Come on down, join the adventure, and I'll see you next time.